Hey everybody, this is David from CPC Strategy, and today we're talking about some of the common objections to uh, running a branded or trademark campaign in AdWords or Bing Ads. The one that we're talking about right now is the fear that running this campaign is somehow going to negatively affect your SEO or your organic traffic. And since Google's algorithm is kind of this black box, there's a lot of uh, scare tactics and fear around losing any of that traffic, uh, which makes sense. But if we think about trying to own the real estate on the search engine's results page, it makes perfect sense for us to actually run a branded ad campaign. And the reason is because uh, there's a diminishing click-through rate as you go down the page. So the number one listing will get the majority of the clicks, which makes sense. Number two, um, less than that. And three, it'll diminish further on down, uh, down the page you go. But if you look at a lot of the results for Google, Google's trying to like, increase the diversity of uh, the search results uh, that are showing up for each one of those. So even though someone is searching for your brand name, uh, right beneath you, you're going to see other pages uh, that are, maybe it's reviews or maybe it's um, a local reseller who, who sells something very similar. Um, and some of your competitors that sell the exact same products. Those are all opportunities for you to lose out on capturing that customer. And so if we can own the real estate at the top of the page by running a branded or trademark ad, then we end up not only just having the first search result, we have the first and second result. We push everyone else down below the fold and we should have a positive net impact on our traffic overall. The second thing that we want to talk about when it comes to uh, the fear around SEO is, is mobile, right? And so there's a lot of adoption around mobile traffic. People are getting a lot more comfortable doing searches with their mobile phone and adoption rates are going through the roof. And we want to make sure that we own as much real estate as possible for mobile users and that we're controlling that experience as much as we possibly can. With mobile, we can actually run mobile preferred ads and we can control exactly how that ad looks. We can control the phone number. We can give them the option to just click to call right from the top of that page when they're looking for you. That's a great thing for, for your business and the usability for that is, is, is amazing. Uh, that combined with location extensions, um, from your mobile browser, if you run a brick and mortar, someone can load up directions to uh, the nearest store, right? If you're like local Home Depot or, or a retailer like that, there's a lot of benefits to it. And the last thing is that we, when we think about running a branded or trademark campaign, we want to think about the net impact that we're having on the business. So, okay, we, yes, we might see a little bit of a drop in organic because we're no longer getting as many click-throughs on that uh, free listing, on that um, organic listing, but a lot of that is being funneled towards our paid listing, which we're getting for pennies on the dollar. Um, so are we seeing a net impact, a net growth in, in orders and, and visits and uh, qualified leads to your website? Uh, from what we've seen, the answer is yes. So that's all we have for today on this subject. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna be going through another a very common objection to running a branded and trademark campaign. So stay tuned.